this video, move player to left and right. Let's raise your first visual script in script on player object. Name it player controller. Open it. On update, we do something every frames. On start, we do something when the game is just loaded. Right click, type it debug log. This note will bring message to the console that you can read. String literal. That's an input string. Let's say hello world, your first trip in Unity. Press play. When the game is loaded, message hello world is printed out. Open player trip again. Delete node on start. We will use button events to replay it. There are get key, get key up, get key down for button events. Get key down will trigger true if button is down. Let's use not get key also to understand how it works. I will use button A for get key down and button D for get key. Head not if. Pink circle is true or false value. Left side is for input values, right side is the values for returning. If a button is pressed down, pink value will be true. Then the value on the right side, true, will be triggered. Otherwise, no button pressed, false will be triggered. We need a node on update to check these events every frame. A node on update to both. If get key down is true, bring some message. And if button D is pressing, bring some message too. If you do this, both buttons will bring out a same message. Change the message to bring out like this. Press play to see how this button works. If you press and keep holding button A, get key down, there will be only one message printed out. If you press and keep holding button D, get key, message will keep printing out until you release the button D up. Remove this one and use event get key to move player. To move an object, use set velocity from rigid body to D. If button D is true, set new velocity value. This is an object doing this event. It will be our player. To get player object, use game object find name. At name of object you want to get. This event will return an object which has this name. Another way to get player object is using tag. This event will return an object which has this tag name. We added tag player to our player objects already. This will return the same player object to. To move it to right, x equal 1, y 0. Now press button D, player will move to the right. Click on component rigid body 2D of this player object. You can watch the velocity and position values changing badly here. Player controller script is inside object player. Therefore, we don't need to use fight game object. This will be always the object holding this script, player object. You can add not this like this one or the default this from the node. It will give the same result. This is a factor true. We can add a factor true value into like this. To control the player move speed, let's use an object variable. 
Name speed with a value of float. Just as its value is 1 for now. You can draft to get value of object variable like this. Or use get object variable. Then type its name in. If you want speed is 5, multiply this vector 2 with that speed value. To multiply a vector with a number, use math generic. This will return a vector 2 value. Move player to the left side a little bit. Right now, move speed is 1. If you press button D, it moves slowly. Change speed value to 2. Player can move faster now. Next, we're going to add button A to move player to left. Add get key with button A. If button A is pressed, it means button D is not pressed. Duplicate event set velocity. To move to left, x will be minus 1, y equals 0. Let's play and test it. Player can move left and right now. What you see if no button are pressed, it took some time for player to stop completely. To reduce the time or stop player immediately, open rigid body component, linear, drag, will have to do it. With the number of linear drag will stop player faster. It's like a deceleration value. I will keep this value equal 1. Let's combine to this set velocity event to one event. They have value of vector 2 different only. I will separate this vector 2 value to a variable. Add a flow variable. Graph variable object save. There are many types of variables. Flow variable because it works only in a flow of event. Name this variable is move vector. Left side always are input value. Ray circle is name object value. It can be any type of values. Let's set a vector 2 value to it. Button these move to right. X will be 1, Y equals 0. Do the same for button A. To get this move vector value, use get flow variable. Replace vector 2 with this flow variable. Same with the second velocity event. Now two events set velocity are exactly the same. Remove one and connect both buttons to one set velocity event. If you press play, player can still move to the left and right well. To shorten this input event to control it easier, you can use trigger custom event. Name it player move. Trigger custom event will do custom events with the same name. Let's cut and move set velocity event inside this custom event. After press buttons, call player move event. This trigger custom event will do events from custom event. To loop like this, hold control and left click. Let's play, you might see this arrow. Open our script, it will show you where arrow is. Arrow is from the red node because we are using two flow of events separately. Flow variable can work in only one flow event. To resolve this, change this variable to graph variable. 
Grab variable can work everywhere inside this script. Now press play to check it again. It worked. You can watch how all the events work like this. You can use this way for debug and know which event works, which events doesn't work. Next video, we will create player jump event.